we're going to look at is a concept uh, called hysteresis. And hysteresis is found all over the world in automation. It basically means a, a lag or lagging. So when building a trading system, many of the decisions uh, have a binary outcome. For example, the market's bearish or it's bullish. You take the trade or you don't. So introducing a gray area is not always considered. Uh, let's look at, at the concept of hysteresis and how it can be applied uh, to our trading. And the easiest way to explain this is to use a thermostat. Let me picture up here. Okay, great. Perfect. So let's say it's quite hot outside uh, today and we're using a thermostat to keep the temperature in the room at uh, 24 degrees Celsius. When the temperature in the room moves above 24 degrees, by just as little as 0 0.1 degrees to 24.1 degrees, the air conditioning kicks in and cools down the room again to 24 degrees. <clears throat> Once the temperature cools down again, uh, down to 24 degrees again, the air con turns off. So in a short time, the room begins to heat up again and the air conditioning once again switches on. So what we have now is a system that is constantly turning on and off. It's inefficient because uh, it produces a lot of wear on the mechanical components. Uh, it wastes fuel. Um, and as you might have guessed, uh, hysteresis is a way to correct this issue. So how do we fix the problem? Well, we reduce the number of signals. What we could do is create a zone where uh, the air conditioning will turn on at 25 degrees and it will turn off at 23 degrees. Therefore, our ideal temperature is in the middle of these two bands where the upper is 25 and the lower is 23. This zone in the middle is our hysteresis. And it will help us reduce uh, whipsaws and uh, false signals. So let's take a look at how we could use this to help our trading. Let's go back and have a look at these, just these four that we've run uh, today. And let's, uh, we're not gonna do too much to it. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna give it a little more space. So instead of it turning on at 24.1 and then off at 20 for, uh, 24, we're gonna give it a little space. So. What I like to do, as I said, is clone the back test. So we have all, so we have all of that there, and we're going to click next. I'm going to, we're going to keep this exactly as is. The only thing we're going to change in these strategies is we're just going to give us a little more room. And next, and back test. Great, and then we go. Okay, got it. Here, and then we can go back to my strategies. And then I'll just do the next one. I'll just clone the next one. So next one was here. This was not a good one. Let's see what we can get with a little more room um, and less false signals. So if we give it, let's say, 2% and back test. And you guys can see it's not taking long to do this. It's just a matter of keeping everything in order and name your strategies as well. Um, okay, so we were, we've done that. We're going to run Facebook now, and then we're going to run Google, and then we're going to compare the results. And that's why I like to um, clone these strategies rather than rerun it. Back test, and we've got one more to do if my calculation is correct. Let's have a look at that. Uh, yeah, we got Google to run. Okay. And 2%. And back test. Okay, great. So now we can go back to my strategies. And actually, we can look at the back test. So, this one's still running, we'll keep that. Let's have a look at the first strategy created tonight with the offsets. This was a basic reversal pattern. 
We only gave ourselves a small position. It was a closed position, a trading stop of 1%. We had 52 hits for 3.87%. What we did is we widened that to 2%. It's given us 17.74% for almost half, exactly, oh no, not exactly half the hits. It'd be nice if I could get them both in. Um, so with 2%, we took almost half the hits and we, we did a lot more percentage than 3.87. That went up to 17.74. So let's see what happened with the next one. Tesla was down negative. That was seven hits. Here we are. The same amount of hits with the bigger trading stop gave us 11.8%. So that actually put us in the green. That was red. So with a little bit more space, with using your hysteresis, so we don't have too, ma too many signals, um, it also work to your advantage. Just remember, I'm using a longish time frame on one hour. It's not long, long. Um, remember, this is over a three month period. Um, let's look at Facebook. Now, Facebook was 13 hits at 2.47. And Facebook here is 11 hits at 6.92. So two less hits and we got about five percent more just by using a, a bigger trailing stop and the last one google uh let's just see what this was okay google gave us 11 hits at almost nothing 0 0.1 percent whereas when we used a little bit more room we got 10 hits at 6.68 percent so this is a really easy way for you guys to create strategies. These aren't really complex strategies that I've created here. These are fairly rudimentary using RSI, using a little candlestick pattern. Um, and this is an easy way for you guys to test what's working uh, in the market at the moment.